Russia's got a massive problem, one that has literally shaken Europe to its core. With over 144 million people living there, Russia has seen some of the worst earthquakes in history, making it one of Europe's most active seismic zones. But here's the kicker. Russia isn't just about earthquakes. It's also one of the biggest oil-producing nations in the world, and home to the largest oil rig on the planet. Now, this alone is pretty scary, considering the global implications. But like that unflappable Russian character in almost every Hollywood movie, this oil rig seems to laugh in the face of danger, almost daring the region to hit it with its worst. So, how does this massive structure survive earthquakes like this? And this? that could easily bring cities to their knees without even flinching. This is the Burkitt oil rig, the giant that seems to mock Mother Russia herself. When we think of Russia, the first thing most people think of is vodka, right? Surprisingly, Liquid Courage has got nothing on Russia's true prized possession, crude oil. Besides being an amazing source of revenue, everything about Russia's journey with crude oil is nothing short of epic. It all started in the late 19th century, when the city of Baku, now in Azerbaijan, became the epicenter of a global oil boom. In an event no one saw coming, Baku's wells were pumping out oil like never before, and it didn't take long for Russia to become a major player on the world stage. Fast forward to the Soviet era, and Russia's oil story took on a new scale. For one, the 1960s and 70s brought the discovery of vast reserves in western Siberia, transforming the USSR into one of the world's top oil-producing regions. By the 1980s, the Soviet Union was already a titan in the global oil industry, with production hitting astronomical numbers. But things went south, and the Soviet Union dissolved. When the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, Russia found itself in a position most countries could only dream of. Changing its oil game permanently, the motherland of mega moves inherited a massive oil empire. Soon enough, in the 2000s, Russia reasserted itself as a major force in the oil market, often competing with big players like Saudi Arabia and the United States for the top spot. Today, Russia is one of the world's largest oil producers, contributing around 10-12% to of the global oil supply, ignoring sanctions due to the war. But here's the fun part. As Russia's oil empire grew, so did its ambitions leading to the creation of a rig so massive that it defies nature and even the laws of engineering. You would think Russia has enough on its plate with vodka and snow, but no. They had to go and build what is effectively a skyscraper in the ocean too. But here's the twist. This isn't just any skyscraper in the ocean. It's the largest on the planet, sitting right in one of the most dangerous earthquake zones in the world. Essentially, to make oil production work, Russia had to stare Mother Nature in the face and say, nice try, but we've got this. Why do I say that? Well, it's simply because Russia's oil production sites sit on some of the most seismic active regions in the world. At this point, there is no denying the fact that Russia has faced some truly devastating earthquakes over the years. One of the most catastrophic was the Neftogorsk earthquake in 1995, which struck Sakhalin Island with a magnitude of 7.1. This quake flattened the town of Neftogorsk and claimed nearly 2,000 lives, making it one of the worst in the country's history. However, this was nothing compared to the Spitak earthquake in 1988, which hit Armenia, which was then part of the Soviet Union, with a magnitude of 6.9. This disaster caused widespread destruction and resulted in around 25,000 deaths, leaving a lasting impact on the region. In 2003, the Kuril-Kamchatka earthquake struck with a magnitude of 8.3, making it one of the largest ever recorded. Although this quake primarily affected offshore areas in the Sea of Okhotsk, its immense scale was felt across a wide region and had a significant impact. The Sea of Okhotsk is a known earthquake hotspot, and as recently as 2020, it was hit by a powerful 7.5 magnitude quake. This powerful offshore earthquake was felt across the region and was particularly scary for one major reason, the Burkitt Oil Rig. Located off the coast of Sakhalin Island, right in the seismically active Sea of Okhotsk, the Burkitt Oil Rig is one of the largest and most crucial oil rigs in the world. You can already imagine just how scary an earthquake would be to a platform that quite literally stands on the seabed in the middle of the ocean. But surprisingly, this monstrous oil rig was unaffected by the quake, 
and even continued its oil production duties. But what exactly is this monstrosity? To put it simply, the Burkett oil rig is like a skyscraper in the middle of the ocean, built to withstand not just the weight of the world, but the fury of nature. Standing about 75 kilometers, or approximately 47 miles offshore, the Burkett oil rig is a colossal structure installed in the Arkaton Doggy Field, beginning operations on June 27, 2014. Producing more than 12,000 tons of oil per day, totaling around 4.5 million tons annually, the Burkett is an engineering marvel. This oil rig is just enormous, spanning about 150 meters or 486 feet across. That's roughly the length of one and a half American football fields. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, Russia managed to pull it off. In fact, in terms of height, the Burkett stands approximately 295 meters or 968 feet tall, making it more than twice the height of the London Eye which is 135 meters, or 443 feet tall. Weighing more than 200,000 tons, this oil rig is a really big deal, with the heaviest topside for an oil rig in the world at about 42,000 tons. If that's not impressive enough, consider the fact that the entire structure is a concrete gravity-based platform that literally sits on the sea floor at about 35 meters deep. Built to last until 2050, this rig was constructed directly on an active tectonic section of the sea and can withstand earthquakes of up to a mind-numbing magnitude 9. But that's not all, as it can also endure 16-meter waves and ice as thick as 2 meters. With its name meaning the Golden Eagle, the Burkett oil rig is a six-story autonomous technological wonder. To put it in perspective, this multi-story structure is equivalent to a 50-story building on land. This football field and a half size rig is 40 minutes from land by helicopter and 8 hours by sea. It's home to 240 workers. It includes a drilling complex, an oil production complex, a full-fledged oil refinery, residential blocks, a helipad, a power station, and a small in-house chemical production facility. But how was all of this constructed in one of the most feared seas in the world? Oh, hold up. If this mega project has you hooked, why not show some love with a like and hit that subscribe button? Believe it or not, over 90% of you are watching without subscribing, and we'd love to have you on board. Your support is the fuel that powers these epic journeys. All set? Awesome. You're a legend. Thank you. Now, let's continue. The construction of the Burkett oil rig was nothing short of extraordinary. Situated in the treacherous Sea of Okonsk, known for its harsh winter and seismic activity, the rig faced extreme challenges. Not to mention the sea's icy waters, fierce storms, and frequent fog, which makes navigation perilous, adding to the difficulty of offshore operations. So how did engineers tackle this formidable task? Well, the answer is that they didn't. In actuality, the Burkett platform wasn't constructed on site. Instead, it was brought to its current location in pieces. The Burkett sits on a gravity-based structure, a massive reinforced concrete base, weighing about 160,000 tons, the equivalent of 1,280,000 average adult male elephants. In terms of design, the base resembles an inverted stool, a stool that, once its hollow lower part was flooded with water, settled on the seabed. After sinking the foundation, the upper part of the platform, complete with equipment and living areas, was then carefully placed atop the legs that extend above the water. This upper part, as mentioned, is the heaviest in the world at 42,000 tons, the equivalent of about 280 blue whales. Due to the nature of construction, the construction of the Burkett considered everything from the weather to the ocean conditions. For example, the platform's design was optimized for these harsh environmental conditions. It features an ice protection belt made of durable concrete to withstand six-foot thick sea ice, replacing older steel designs that failed in strong storms. As mentioned earlier, the Burkett platform is located directly on a tectonic section. So to combat this, it was engineered to withstand even the most intense earthquakes, thanks to sliding bearings that act like knee joints. Essentially, in the event of a quake, the entire upper part of the platform can slide along these supports, reducing the vibrations and, by extension, the effects of the earthquake. Now, this feature was extremely important, as every time the earth trembled beneath the sea, the Burkett oil rig was faced with a test that could spell disaster for Russia's oil production. Interestingly, the whole structure wasn't entirely built in Russia. For example, the upper section of the platform was built in South Korea, 
and includes a six-story, fully autonomous oil refining complex. The rig's massive oil derrick was manufactured in Russia and delivered to South Korea by sea, before being installed on the platform using the world's only marine crane with a 7,000-ton lifting capacity, specifically rented for this operation. To further protect against earthquakes, all pipes and oil wells connecting the upper and lower parts of the platform were given joints covered with black reinforced rubber cuffs. These couplings were very crucial, as they allowed the pipelines to shift slightly, ensuring they wouldn't burst during seismic activity. Essentially, one misstep in the rig's engineering could turn this marvel into a catastrophe, bringing not just the rig, but an entire economy to its knees. So, with so much engineering on its back, what exactly did the oil rig do? The heart of the Burkitt platform is its drilling site, where drill pipes reach over a mile beneath the seabed. The drilling process is controlled by a joystick with four simple commands, higher, lower, faster, and slower. Although it might seem simple, offshore drilling is one of the most complex engineering processes on Earth. And although a single joystick sounds like a creation from PlayStation, the actual reality couldn't be any more different. For one, the drill itself is made of high-strength steel with cutting elements made of artificial diamonds. It functions by boring through rock to create wells that extract oil from various cavities deep beneath the seabed. Each well is monitored by a preventer, a critical safety device designed to seal the well in emergencies. The platform operates on the Arkutan Dagi Field, a complex geological formation with sedimentary rock layers, faults, and fractures. To navigate these challenges, horizontal drilling is employed, extending the reach of wells within the reservoir by more than 4 miles or 7 kilometers and increasing production efficiency. This method enhances production rates by accessing a larger area of hydrocarbon-bearing rock and navigating geological complexities. It also reduces the surface footprint by enabling multiple access points from a single location, making it a more efficient and environmentally friendly approach. The Burkitt can simultaneously drill 45 wells, but as of the time of this report, only about half have been drilled. After extraction, the oil extracted from the Arcutton Doggy wells converges into a central pipeline that transports it to the mainland. As mentioned before, the oil rig also has a chemical injection area, where chemicals are added to the wells to prevent corrosion and maintain performance, much like adding detergent to a washing machine. One of the craziest things about the Burkitt platform is the fact that it operates around the clock and has never been shut down since its inception. This is because shutting it down would take several dozen hours to restart and would cost the country millions of dollars. However, in case of emergencies, the platform can be stopped instantly with an emergency shutdown button, which halts all operations and sends the platform into damage control mode. This procedure, which is intended to prevent mishaps, is not unique to Burkitt, as it is common to all offshore production sites. Accommodating up to 240 people, the platform includes residential quarters insulated with wool for protection from the weather and fire. It also has a dining room that serves nutritious meals, which also doubles as an emergency meeting point. If that's not enough, fresh water is even produced on site via desalination of the seawater using a reverse osmosis filter that removes salt and impurities from the seawater. Although they have never been used before, the lifeboats can transport up to 60 people and are packed snugly to ensure survival in an emergency. Inside the central control room, operators monitor the platform's operations, drawing conclusions from the data displayed on dozens of monitors. Although it needs humans for maintenance, the Burkitt is actually highly automated, with humans playing only monitoring and supervision roles. That's not all. Power for the platform is generated by four gas turbines running on gas made on the rig. Each turbine on the rig creates about 15 megawatts and produces enough electricity to power half a city. In the end, despite its remote and harsh environment, the Burkitt platform operates efficiently, with crews rotating based on weather conditions and preset times. The Burkitt oil rig is an engineering marvel, showcasing the sheer ingenuity and resilience of human achievement. As one of Russia's greatest megastructures, it continues to defy the odds, standing tall against the relentless forces of nature, even surviving the 7.0 magnitude earthquake that recently shook the region on August 18, 2024. So next time you hear about a quake in Russia, remember, the Burkitt oil rig will still be standing tall, laughing in the face of Mother Nature herself. But what do you think? Would you dare to visit this insane structure? Or have you ever visited an oil rig? or maybe even experienced an earthquake. 
tell us about it. Also, let us know in the comments which is scarier, the earthquakes or the sheer size of this rig. While you're at it, don't forget to tell us what epic project you would like us to explore next. If you think the Burkett oil rig is impressive, you won't believe what Saudi Arabia is up to. Curious? Click here to see more engineering marvels that are redefining our world. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, as it helps the channel and will keep you updated on all the most iconic engineering feats in the world. Until next time, keep on dreaming big. Bye for now.